Welcome to Business Live. I'm Mark Crossgreen. In BL tonight, we're talking about Fontana Limited, Jamaica's leading pharmacy, arguably the leading pharmacy in the Caribbean, trading in their shares here, large trades here. Fontana Company advises connected parties of the directors selling down 1.45 million shares and 11.22 million shares. Combine those numbers, you're talking about something like 12.6, 12.7 million shares. January 14th, 2022 is the date. Now, Consolidated Bakeries Jamaica Limited, better known as Purity. Talk about Miss Birdie Crackers, the crackers that everybody loves. Compensation Committee composition here, the company coming out with an advisory that the new composition of Purity's Compensation Committee, as per the Board of Directors approval on January 12th of this year, is as follows. Mr. Noel De Costa, Chairman, he's an independent member. Anthony Chang, Executive Member, Mr. Marshall Ogle, independent member as well as the Sant Mitchell well-known financier as an independent member. Now Scotia Group Jamaica resignation of the head of insurance and wealth talk about big time business news came out flying yesterday we're going to talk about on business life tonight that is the advice that Dr. Adrian Stokes head of insurance and wealth will be leaving Scotia Group effective roughly about 30 days from now, February 19th of this year, to pursue other opportunities. Now, Deborah Lopez Spence will continue as president of Scotia Life Insurance Company Limited, and Gary Von White, senior VP Treasury, will temporarily provide oversight for Scotia Investments Jamaica. Now, PBS Productive Business Solutions, preference share dividend here, announcement it's going to be payable the end of this month approximately 126.8 million j dollars pbs kicks off some nice dividends here this is for the cumulative preference shares of pbs last up big time gas station here that's fesco limited uh trading in their shares you know they got the the dealer let's say the gas station opened up on mandela highway out there by ferry they also got beachwood avenue kicking you see it all over social media lots of customers posting what excellent service they do and everything they do at fesco in this case here advisory that a director sold just about 2.5 million units or shares between january 14th january 18th of this year and four directors and a connected party bought up a total of 2 million shares in fesco january 17th january 18th Fesco, keep it top of mind, lots of activity, trading by directors, connected parties, etc. This is Business Live, and I'm Mark Crossgreen.